Welcome. Today we're going to focus on the concept of multi-send. You may recall in November of 2022, we were allowed to multi-send using merge tags like first name, email, and etc which did give us the capability of multi-sending up to 1,500 recipients. With that, Google has now expanded onto that launch in November of 2022. We now can use Google Sheets, which will allow us to use any data column from a sheet as a mail merge tag. This is a very exciting update, as many of us have requested this concept for quite some time. There are some things to be aware of to use this effectively, and we will go over those shortly. So let's go ahead and dive deeper about this update. First, we need to start with our data. Our data is housed inside Google Sheet. So with this particular data set, let's review it. We have a chip, which I'll talk more about in a minute. We do need to have an email option and a name option inside the Google Sheet. The Google Sheet must contain at least one column of an email address and one column with the recipient name. And I will talk more about that and we'll add that in a minute, but please make note that you have to have an email and a name to make the mail merge work from your original data set. The other important factor that you need to be aware of is at the bottom, you need to make sure you're on sheet one. The recipient data must be the first tab of the sheet. So if you are using a sheet with multiple tabs, keep in mind your data that you're going to mail merge has to be the very first sheet inside your entire workbook. Now that we know those things to know, let's go ahead and review our data a little further. The sheet contains information regarding training sessions. For example, trainer one has signed up for a training date August 1st, time nine o'clock, trainer Wilma, the course is Sheets 101, and there's the video call link for Google Meet. I want to merge these tags into a individual email to each one of the recipients in this particular case. However, do you recall the sheet must contain at least one column of email address and one column with the recipient name. So I'm going to use the cool feature that recently has been launched in regards to data extraction to provide me the email and the name. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another column in between B and C and insert a column and I'm going to call it name. So with that, I'm going to right click and select the first people chip and I'm going to select data extraction. Now this is an added bonus. This has nothing to do with this particular update. However, this just shows you how Google is really thinking outside the box and how we can incorporate all these great features into one particular task at hand. So I am now using the data extraction tool to decide that I want to data extract email and name in this particular case. If you remember, those are the two required fields I need to use this concept of mail merge. Go ahead and go ahead and extract. You can learn more about this update if you want to check out the resources posted in the description because it's a great new option. I'm going to go ahead and fill down and you will see then I will have the email and name for all those recipients that are in my training session sign up data sheet. Now let's go ahead and navigate to Gmail and use this mail merge sample and merge the data and send an individual email to trainer one all the way through trainer five. Now we're back to Gmail and we're going to focus on merging the data from our data sheet. Before I do so, there's a few things I want to make sure you're aware of. The multi send feature used to be at the bottom of your compose window where you would select multi send. That is different now. Multi send is up at the top in the recipient area where you will see right next to the BCC, you have a new option which allows you to select use mail merge. You can select use mail merge and you can go ahead and click on use mail merge. Now you could still use the basic functionality of the merge tag such as first name, last name, and email by selecting that. But in this particular update, we're going to pull it from a spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and select add from spreadsheet. Then you need to select the spreadsheet that you want to merge the data. We're going to go ahead and use that sample for today and I'm going to go ahead and select insert. Now, as you recall, the two required fields is email and name. So I'm going to go ahead and select email from my merge sample and then I'm going to select first name and I'm going to select name. Now it also gives you a quick preview 
of the recipients that are going to be sent, you can always click the pop-up window to see all. Go ahead and select finish if you choose, and then when you do that, you're ready to compose your email. One other thing you need to be aware of is if you see on the screen, users are limited to 1,500 mail merge recipients and you cannot use the CC or BCC when recipients are added from a sheet. So this does not allow the BCC or the CCC when you are using a mail merge from a Google Sheet. However, you may recall I strongly discourage using the BCC and the CCC when you're using the multi-send because it goes against your 1500 limit. So this should not be a hindrance of any sort but it is an awareness. Also, the other thing that you might find a little bit of an inconvenience, one like myself, is merge tags cannot be in the subject line or in the links. That does find it a little more cumbersome. A lot of us like to have unique subject lines. You will have to think outside the box on that if you choose to. However, in this particular case, you will not be able to add a merge tag in here. So be aware of that in your subject line. Again, please always check out the resources below to learn more about things to know. So let's go ahead and get started. So we first need to start with a subject line. And again, we remember we cannot add a tag. So we're just going to say welcome to training session and etc. Now I'm going to go ahead and start composing my email. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say hello. I want to make it personalized and I'm going to hit the at sign and then you will see all the mail merge tags that are tied to that sheet. In this case, I'm going to select name and then I'm going to do a comma and there is my salutation. Then I'm just for time constraints, I'm just going to copy and paste what I've already started just to get this going. So here is what I have for my email that I want to send. Each one of these headers, I want to go ahead and add the an individual merge tag. So for the date, I'm going to hit the at sign and I'm going to select training date because that was the column header for the date. Then I'm going to go move further and I'm going to go ahead and choose time and I'm going to use the at sign again and select time and you can see I'm rinsing and repeating and selecting the correct merge tags for each one of these headers. Now you can also, when you hover over the tags, you have the option to preview and you can kind of see for each of the recipients what it will display. So it gives you a confidence that you are doing this correctly and have a better understanding of what it's going to provide. Then you have the option to set a default value, show recipients when they're missing data for a particular merge tag. I'm going to go ahead and pass on that option right now and hit cancel but I do want you to be aware of that. So now what do you do? You can just click on continue at the bottom. It is always good practice to make sure you have a good subject line. Please go ahead and make sure you follow the best email practices. I'm gonna go ahead and don't show me again and click got it. You do have the option to preview and send yourself a preview if you choose to. I'm gonna go ahead in this case and click send all. As you can see on the screen, this is an example of a email that was sent through the mail merge option we have available to us now. With that, I end you with a friendly reminder to check out all the resources posted in the description below to learn more about this amazing update. Thank you.